Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor Advanced. In this one we're going to tackle the proof of the reverse triangle inequality. Now of course uh, you may have heard of the triangle inequality but the reverse triangle inequality is equally important and it's another tool you want to have in your back pocket. So let's go over and you know take a quick look at what these two inequalities look like and how you might want to think about these. In the regular old triangle inequality we're looking at the absolute value of say two numbers and if we want to break that up into the absolute value over each individual number, it's going to make something larger. So the absolute value of x plus y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x plus the absolute value of y. In the reverse triangle inequality, we're doing something very similar. I like to think of starting with this quantity over here, the absolute value of x minus y. And if I want to break it up over into each individual um, quantity, so the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y, it will be bigger than that. Um, and the way we remember that, or the way we can package that up, is that we can say it's bigger than the absolute value of the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y. Now, it's important to take a look at this left side and really think about what that means. When you have something in absolute value like that uh, and uh, another quantity bigger than it, what I'm really saying here is that I have the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y, that this quantity on my right side is actually bigger than that, and it's also bigger than the absolute value of y minus the absolute value of x. It's actually bigger than both of these things. And maybe a good reason why you can think of why that might be is the only difference I'm doing here on the left side is I'm reversing the order of these two things. So of course I'm doing the absolute value of x minus the absolute value of y. This is exactly the same thing just in the reverse order. So since we're reversing the order and we have subtraction, essentially one of these will be positive and one of them will be negative. Now, which is which, I don't really know, uh, but it is bigger than both of those. And since it is bigger than both of the, those, that means it is bigger than the absolute value or the difference of both those two. All right, so when we get into the proof of those, we'll actually have to prove both of these individual statements and that will give us the uh, reverse triangle inequality. All right, sounds good. Let's go ahead and move on to the actual proof. So in this proof of the reverse triangle inequality, we will actually leverage the actual triangle inequality. What I'm saying there is that we're going to assume we already know the regular old triangle inequality, and we're going to use that to prove the reverse one. Okay, so it's kind of a neat technique. Let's see how we do this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with the absolute value of a number, something like the absolute value of x. And I'm going to take that x, I'm going to add and subtract a value of y. So we might just say minus y and plus y. So since I'm adding and subtracting the same quantity, of course, this is exactly the same so far. No changes, looks good. But now we're actually dealing with this x minus y as one quantity and the y by itself as another quantity being added. And here's where I can use that regular old triangle inequality. So I can say this is less than or equal to the absolute value of x minus y, there's our first quantity, plus the absolute value of just y. So we've broken that up into both those parts and of course made something bigger. Over here on the right side, there's where we're kind of sneaking in a little bit of that reverse triangle inequality that you can see that expression we want, but it's got this y over here that uh, you know we don't want it on that side. So we're gonna subtract y back over with the x. So what does that give us? So it'll give us the absolute value of x. Let's go ahead and subtract the y over. So this will be less than or equal to, and we still have that x minus y on the right side. All right, so this is half of what we want. This is half of our reverse triangle inequality. We also have to show that uh, our absolute value of x minus y is bigger than this quantity just in the reverse order. Now, of course, once you've seen it in this direction, you can kind of get a sense that it's not going to be that difficult to do it for the reverse order as well. We'll just do the exact same thing, only we'll start with the absolute value of y this time. Okay, so using the same trick as before, we will say that this is equal to y, and now we'll add and subtract an x. So we'll have a little minus x plus x. Everything's an absolute value. These things are equal right now. And now we'll use our triangle inequality to break this up into y minus x 
plus the absolute value of x. All right, so now we see there's that absolute value of y minus x quantity. We don't want this x on this side, so we'll move it onto the left like we did last time. And there we go. Okay, so we're almost home free. Now we have these two inequalities. Now, of course, if you look at those two inequalities, you may say, hey, wait a minute. Uh, it looks like over there on the right side, you, you haven't quite got what you need. You have them reversed there on the inside. And really, we want them to be the same so that we can uh, say that, you know, this is bigger than both of these and they're bigger than it in absolute value. But you know, taking a closer look on the right hand side there, we have to remember that these things are actually exactly the same. And just to convince you, you know, imagine looking at reversing the order of two numbers in absolute value uh, when you actually have some numbers to look at. So, for example, if I looked at 5 minus 3, on the inside there, that would just equal a regular old 2. So this would, of course, equal just 2. But if I decided to reverse the order of these things, of course I would get a negative 2, but it's still sitting inside of absolute value. So this just gives us a regular old 2 again. So when two numbers are sitting inside of an absolute value and they're being subtracted, the order actually doesn't matter. You will get the same value either way. So what I'm really trying to say is these two things are exactly the same. So we have the absolute value of x minus the absolute absolute value of y is less than, or, less than or equal to x minus y. Okay, so there's our first one. And that uh, second one, we can write it as the absolute value of y minus the absolute value of x is less than or equal to, and now I'll just reverse the order since it's the same anyway. And now that we've proven both of these uh, inequalities, now we have the reverse triangle inequality. It's bigger than the absolute value of the difference of the two. All right, and there, there you go. There's a, another handy tool you can have in your back pocket. Um, think of it for breaking things up when you have subtraction in absolute value. You're gonna create something a little bit smaller. And you actually get two inequalities out of it, uh, or you can just leave it as one giant inequality, but you will get something smaller. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, watch for more videos in my advanced series as we tackle more proofs. Thanks for watching.